I thought it might be useful given that Bryson de Chambord just won the Rocket Mortgage Classic tournament and the way he has uh, got a slightly different swing, or so it would seem, to others, uh, given he plays one length iron and also focuses on the single plane technique. To have a quick look at um, six comparisons between Victor Hovland, uh, the great new young Norwegian golfer, and Bryson de Chambord. Uh, pre Balkan, and I will highlight a few elements that perhaps are worth you thinking about and looking at. So let's start with the address. You will see that Victor Hovland is bent over uh, a little more than Bryce and Sham. You will see his shoulders rounded, his arms much more parallel facing each other, whereas you will see Bryson's hands very high, you will see his right arm below his left arm. They're both right-handers, so I'm going to keep to that comparison. So you will see that in a dress, Bryson de Chambeau is standing much more upright, much less knee bend, um, a sort of straighter posture, greater ulnar deviation, so his wrist is fully extended down and as he holds his main, in his main lead eye hand, you'll see his ulnar deviation, which is this, fully extended down whereas Victor Hovland is much more bent to the dress, the more traditional stance. Let's then look at the start. Uh, this is a critical point uh, of any swing, it's how you begin. You will see that uh, Bryson de Chambeau has a sort of one-piece takeaway. He, um, he stays more upright and a quieter body. Um, Victor Hovland, Hovland, his arms are soft, his torso is winding, and his club face is parallel or slightly closed. Um, let's go then to the next point, which is really at his complete wind up at the top. You will see that Victor Hovland's lead wrist is flexed a little bit like Dustin Johnson has. His upper body is wound. His lead arm is above his shoulders. Um, you will see Bryson stop short of parallel. The top of goes parallel or past it. Uh, you will see that Bryson's feet are firmly screwed into the turf while the top of is in part. You can see a little bit more lift um, off the front foot with Victor Hovland, whereas that, that's not the case with Bryson de Chambon. There's no wrist flexion in Bryson de Chambon's swing. Focusing on the fact that he started upright, he already had complete ulnar deviation, he's focusing on a single plane. Let's now move to the next set of images, which really uh, focuses on the transition, the impact point, and the finish. So if you look at the transition, the Bryson de Chambeau is less open. Um, there's no wrist flex. In the case of Victor Hovland, his hips are open, his wrist is still in flex, his body direction has changed. If you look at the impact point, which fire in both cases. Victor Hovland has his right arm bent, body open facing the target. 
Bryson maintains that forward tilt. He has the rotation and the side bend, and his spine angle has remained the same from a dress all the way to the top of his swing, all the way down to impact. That's the single plane difference. Whereas in Victor Holland's case, he has to adjust his spine angle slightly, you know, because his dress position is different to his impact position. In the finish, they both finish well, balanced, with Victor Hovland having a bit more of a turn and Bryson mainly because he has his front foot open at a dress and then coming down in transition using that as an anchor point. He just has to swing through on that single plane and doesn't need quite the same amount of turn as the traditional golf swing. Well, those are some sort of quick highlights. I will leave these four images for a moment up on the screen. Have a look at them, download them if you wish, copy them, uh, make for interesting viewing, just something to think about. In the end, they're both great golfers, they both win tournaments, um, both go about it a different way. And if there's one thing one knows in looking at the different pros, is there's different ways of getting to that final result. Uh, Dustin Johnson and the major flex he has, the incredible turn of Rory McIlroy. So you really see variations in how to get similar results. Of course, Bryson has just bumped up, so he is getting great distances, largely because of that, but he's also uh, clearly improved his putting, at least in the Rocket uh, Mortgage Classic. That was a key part of his final round. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the flip side. Do subscribe. Plenty more coming.